Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're, go we're going to be talking about One Story Home Part 3. Okay, so in this video we will be talking about four main points. Number one is the worksheet, number two, infiltration, number three, multi zone three, and number four, zone information. Okay, so let's get into it. So to begin with, we're going to go to the worksheet. So in the worksheet, is uh, if, if you can see, this is the icon for the worksheet and the shortcut is Control w so uh, uh, when we finish all these videos it's gonna be very efficient for you for everyone to know the shortcuts that's gonna save a lot of time but in the meantime we just uh, click on the icons okay so this is the worksheet and in the worksheet we have actually the materials okay so let's check first so how many walls do we have so as you as everyone can see here this is this w means wall so this means that this wall has two windows g glasses so one wall two windows right here okay so for example this wall is oriented the orientation of this wall is north Okay, so there you go, north. Now, for the other wall has the other window, the orientation is east, other wall with the window, and this wall actually has a glass, which is a window and a door. So th those are going to be oriented to the south. Okay, number fourth wall is going to be to the west, and the P, P is actually partition. Which one is the partition actually? Partition means the wall that is uh, shared with an unconditioned space. In this case, the garage. So P is partition and it's gonna have its own door, okay? So now the partition has its own insulation. So we're gonna show this in right draw. So this is the garage. As we know, it's not being conditioned. You, you go to the property sheet, see? Included in the calculations? No, we're not gonna count for the area. Conditioned? None? None. Okay, so now we have a door. So since this is not conditioned, we have to account for other insulation because for the wall, we have exterior R15 insulation. But for the garage, we can have R13, R15, R19. Better yet if it's R19. So let's put as an average R15. So P is partition, double clicking here. And it's going to show you it doesn't have any. So you, you're you able to create your own library. So from my own library, I created this is Garage R15. So Garage R15, it's the same cavity insulation. R15, start spacing 16 OC, 2 by 4 wood, see, non-exterior board insulation. So we're going to hit OK. So now when you do that, it's going to tell you what is the default value for the temperature. So you have two options, heating, cooling. If you want to overwrite this, you can always hit F8 and overwrite it. But this is mainly based on the outdoor design temperature. It's actually maybe 10 degrees more or depending. It's, it's relatively close to the outdoor design temperatures. Okay, so let's hit OK. And there we go. We're all good with that. And the door is going to be garage door. Actually, see, this is my door for the garage partition. Okay, so now in this worksheet, we're able to see that and also we're able to check every room. So let's check, for example, one. This is the great room, the owner's bedroom. Okay, so in the owner's bedroom, Let's see my orientation. I have two walls that are exposed. Wall number one and wall number two. Okay, so wall number one is going to be, the orientation is going to be north. See, as you can see, it's north, the orientation of the wall. And the, that orientation of the wall has two windows. So if you can see in here, let's go here, owner's bedroom. See, owner's bedroom right here. See, if we select the owner's bedroom, we have two walls, orientation north, which is right here, and this has two windows, see, low is single, low is single, all of them are located in the north, okay, so now for, for the other, for the other wall that's located, so this is located to the east, okay, so this is the east. So we're going to go here. So this is the second one is located to the east, as you can see here. 
There we go. Okay, so now secondly, in my windows, as you can see, my windows are populated because they are exposed. Okay, so as you can see on the other orientations, we have zero, zero, zero. You can check every single room by this worksheet. See, we have great owner's bedroom, we have great room, we have kitchen and dining. Let's check on the foyer lastly in this worksheet. On the, oh, so the foyer is only, I. Uh, it doesn't matter. The, the interior walls don't matter in this case. What is more important is the exterior wall. So the exterior wall is oriented to the south. And why am I taking into account the foyer? Because that's the front door and that che checks our orientation. So the foyer doesn't have any windows, only the front door and it's located south. So that's another way to check if our orientation is good. So see, we have in here the south, south, south. See, we have wall, entry door and it's located south. So this is correct. And Someone might be wondering, why did you put low single if it doesn't have any window? It doesn't matter because you have in here zero, 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 or everything is zero here. So it doesn't account for anything. All right. So what else can you see in the worksheet? You, you have the option, also the option to change some data here. So for example, if you click on bedroom number two, you check air only, air only. You can put also your loads. We're going to be putting loads later. And you can also see the duct heat loss, heat gain in the in the attic. Okay. And now also you can see the dimensions. See, bedroom number two is 10 feet by nine. See? See, this is the exposed wall, 10 feet, and the room height is nine, and the room dimensions 13 13.5 uh, by 10. So total of room area. What else can you see in here? You can see the a the excursion and you have a lot of data here to see too. You can also put the internal loads for every room. As you can see in here, number of occupants, appliances, but we'll do this later in another video. And also in here, you're gonna be able to see the air is required CFM for now. So we don't have loads for our rooms. We only have our, uh, our envelope values, but in another video, we'll do the heat load calculations, okay? So that's for worksheet. Number two is infiltration, okay? So for the infiltration, you can use the shortcut F4 or just click on the icon. So you have three methods for infiltration. This is the most simplified, and this is usually what I usually use. If you wanna go into more detail, go to options, and in here you're gonna see infiltration method and you can see there are three options. Detailed, for example, of course, you're gonna have more detailed option on your infiltration or you're gonna go here, infiltration, blower door test. See, you can do by blower door test, but usually we use this simplified. So in simplified option, I put construction quality average, but sometimes when the insulation is so high, like R19, R21, so when you have better insulation, you can put it like um, tight. See, that is tight. So we're putting as an average. And if there is, it's it's an old house, like say they it's been built 1975 or anything, Perhaps you might put semi-loose. They don't have very good insulation, but for new houses, maybe you can put tight. However, you want to be on the safe side, safe side always. You want to take a conservative value. Even though it's tight, possibly put it semi-tight, at least not, not tight. You want to take into account the worst case scenario. So I usually put average. Number of above grade stories, this is only one story. If you have three stories, you can put three stories, okay? Exposures, this is three to four exposures because it's a single home. But in case if it's a hometown, so town home, sorry. So if it's a uh, town home unit, you have only one to two exposures. Or if it's an end unit of a townhome, it's going to be three, four. Okay. So number of fireplaces, it doesn't have any fireplace, but let's take into account the worst case scenario. Put one. There you go. One fireplace. It doesn't affect us all. So that's for the infiltration. For the multi-zone tree, you're going to be going here. Zone information, multi-zone tree. In the multi-zone tree, the shortcut is control M, but you can click on the icon and this lets you know how many systems you have in the 
house. So in here, as you can see, you, you, we only have one system. This is the image of a blower or a fan. So we have only one fan, we have one system. If you have two story house plus a basement, you can always add another zone, which means it's going to add another system. So two system unit, we'll do that later in other videos or add an air handler, you know, VABs for commercial. So mainly this is the most basic, okay? So that's the multi zone tree. And then for the zone information, if you go here, it says Control J. Control J is gonna, it's the shortcut for zone information. Click on that. And this is actually very important and where you can get a preliminary tonnage based on the heat load calculations, okay? So let's start with the first one indoor conditions for the indoor conditions usually based on ash ray is 70 degrees for winter 75 for summer and 50 relative humidity there we go so as you can see heating 70 relative humidity 50 cooling 75 relative humidity 50 you can also change this to 30 30 percent relative humidity for heating okay but it, in this case, we're all good with 7, 75, 50. Okay, this is the grains per pound. We can go in detail, more in detail for this, uh, for humidity and all, all of that, okay? Atmospheric conduct, uh, combustion, we leave it like that, 1000, doesn't affect so much. Blower power is interesting. If you want to uh, oversize it a little bit, your system, you can check this. I'm gonna show you this in a few, okay? So for ventilation, we want to take the ash ray, depends on which county. Usually I use the ash ray 62.2, 2010 and the number of bedrooms let's check on the number of bedrooms we have how many bedrooms we have one two three bedrooms in that case we're gonna put in here three bedrooms okay number of bedrooms three and then we put in here uh we do not have in here we have ventilation zero no you have to show ventilation in here but where is that located right here it says central vent type central ventilation type you click in here you have three options outside air heat recovery energy recovery ventilating the humidifier so usually let's put outside air which is based on exhaust only see which is pretty much you're going to be using in the bathroom a fan and you're going to bring in, you're going to be bringing outside air through the fan through the cracks through the infiltration okay so there you go now you have a calculation for the ventilation and this tells you what is your preliminary tonnage. For this house, without any internal loads, we have a 1.4 ton unit. And when, when I was mentioning, if you wanna be safe or more conservative, take into account the blower power and check it. See, right now it's 1.4. If you check this, it's going to be 1.6. So it's kind of, uh, you are on the safe side on that side. Okay, so uh, you, let's just uncheck it for, let's just check it for now. And then you have a 1.6 ton unit for now without any internal loads. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. All right, thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.